In this video, I'm gonna show off the most broken cheese strategy that there is to kill the Revenant boss. And for those who are struggling to actually get their first kills, hopefully it's able to help. So, all right, first of all, let's just go over what we actually need. First of all, we need a DPS weapon. We need something that's going to be able to do a solid amount of damage. You don't need a giant sword. Uh, when I started doing this, I was doing it with, uh, I think a Shadow Fury, as long as you've got enough, uh, enough DPS to outlast his regular melee attacks. What you're also going to need is some healing. These are my uh, the items that I use for healing. You should absolutely have um, uh, some of these types of items. You need an orb of some um, some type. Again, I didn't have a, uh, an overflux power orb when I started this. So if you're struggling to kill the boss, you're either going to need to increase your DPS or increase the amount of healing that you're getting, essentially. Um, as for gear, what I would suggest that you do is just to try with the, the gear that you have. Um, and then try, and if that is not working, upgrade it in some way. Um, what I might recommend that you look at potentially buying uh, would be a Reaper, a Reaper mask. A uh, Reaper mask is really, really handy because of this little perk, disgusting healing. You have two times healing from all sources. That's really handy, uh, especially if you're really struggling here. So um, maybe pick one of those up, maybe pick up a full Reaper set. Um, depends how you're going final thing that i'm going to suggest that we need is going to be uh in the way of pets so if we have a look in our pets here um the only thing that really matters down here um, is obviously you need to have the dps but the item that the, the pet is holding is it needs to be a dwarf turtle shelmet um, that makes it so that you don't get knocked back and it's going to make it so that you aren't dislodged from the the spot that you have to stand um when I actually demonstrate the method coming up. So what I would recommend, I'm using a wolf for the XP, but what I would recommend is actually probably a baby Yeti uh, with a dwarf turtle shelmet. If you're struggling even with that, you need more DPS even. In the early days, I was actually using a zombie pet, so uh, might be worth considering that as well. First of all, we're just gonna demonstrate a regular a regular fight. So I'm just gonna throw down my, my power orb and he's gonna start throwing his TNT at me. There we go, we got him. Now it's time for me to go over the actual method itself. So this is a basic, basically a method that allows for us to get rid of all of the TNT. So you no longer have to dodge the TNT, outlast his damage attacks and out melee him. So here's how it's going to work. So I, I'm gonna spawn the boss, use my wand, throw down my overflux. I'm gonna stand up against this gate right here. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start whacking him. So he's hitting me right now, but I'm also hitting him back. Now, he's gonna knock me out like this. What I like to do at this point is just heal up with my um, my zombie sword and then start hitting him again. So, it's a lot easier now uh, than it was when I just started, but it made it totally possible uh, before I could not even kill him. But with this method, I was actually able to. Once you've done your, uh, your overflux, you're either gonna to wanna to stand up against this gate here or up in here, right up in here. So you're gonna be standing on this actual block here and basically uh, that's going to stop him from being able to hit you with this TNT. All right. Now, if you are still struggling after uh, trying this method and upgrading the gear to the best of your ability, uh, you're going to need some more money. The absolute best money maker in this game is right here. 